I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Introduction to Trigonometry. Here are five questions which will help you to understand all the concepts and also prepare you from related test. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Let's go through these questions one by one and then we'll find their solution. Question 1. Find the angle which the line passing through the points 2, 5 and 5, 8 make with x axis. So in this particular case, you can find the slope and then tan theta and the angle. Question number 2. Find the value of tan square 60, 4 cos square 45 plus 3 secant square 30 plus 5 cos square 90 degrees divided by cosecant 30 secant 60 minus cot square 30. You need to use special triangles and the exact value to get the solution. Question number 3. If x equals to a secant theta plus y equals to b tan theta, then prove that x square over a square minus y square over b square equals to 1. You can use Pythagorean trigonometric identity to solve this question. Question 4. If in a triangle ABC, sine of A plus B minus C equals to half and cos of B plus C minus A equals to 1 over square root 2, find the angles A, B and C. Now this question involves solving simultaneous equations. Question number 5. If sine theta over 1 minus cos theta plus sine theta over 1 plus cos theta equals to 4 and theta is between 0 to 90 degrees, find theta. You can cross multiply and then solve this equation. Using Pythagorean trigonometric identities, it could be simplified and then you can find the answer. So I hope with those hints, it should not be difficult for you to solve these five questions. Now, let us look into their detailed solution. So we'll begin with question number one, which is to find slope of the line. And we'll also understand the concept behind it. The very first question here is, find the angle which the line passing through two points make with positive x-axis. Let's try to understand the question. Let us say we have the coordinate plane, these two points, 2, 5 and 5, 8, let's say, let's say this is the line which is going through these two points. Now, let me call these points as A and B, right? So let's say this is A and this is B for us. And let's say A is 2, 5 and B is 5, 8. Now, we need to find the angle which the line passing through these two points make with the x-axis. So this angle we have to find, which it makes with the x-axis. Now, a couple of ways to do it. But what you normally see here is that you could always construct a triangle here, correct? So from A to B, if I construct a triangle like this, we have a right triangle, as you can see. And the angle which you want to find is also the angle which can be seen here. Since these lines are parallel, right? So these are parallel lines. So, so this angle is also same as what we want to find. Correct? So from here, you can see very easily that this angle and this angle both are equal. Let's call them theta, right? So we can find tan of theta as slope of the line, right? So that is to say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 8 minus 5 over 5 minus 2. So that gives you 3 over 3, which is 1. So tan theta is 1. Theta is tan inverse of one correct now if you know the special triangles you can easily answer this question 
So this special triangle which gives you the value of tan theta as 1 that will be possible if these two sides are exactly same. That means if they are 1 and 1 we have hypotenuse of square root 2 and this angle as you know is 45 degrees. So from here we can write theta equals to 45 degrees. So that is the angle which the line makes with the x-axis. So our answer is line will make an angle of 45 degrees with positive x-axis. Now at times this question could be asked what is the angle made with y-axis? Do you understand? So there could be a variation to this concept. But what you learn here basically is that tan theta equals to slope, which is m, correct? So that is what we learn from this particular example. Let's move on and take the second question now. Find the value of all this. Now to find this value, we have to use two triangles. One is the special triangle where the angle is 45 degrees. The other one where it is 30, 60 and 90, right? So you can make these triangles and you know the sides are 1, 2 square root 3 for 30, 60, 90 and 1, 1 square root 2 for 45 degrees triangle, correct? So we're looking into these two triangles and you know all the values from here. We'll substitute them one by one here. So let me write down the values here. For example, tan 60, you look from here, is square root 3 over 1, so it is square root 3. Cos 45, cos 45 degrees is 1 over square root 2, right? Secant 30 degrees. So look from here, secant is reciprocal of cos, it will be 2 over square root 3, right? Cos 90. So cos 90 degrees is basically equal to 0. Now how do we get that? Uh, what you could look into is basically the cosine graph. So the cosine graph is kind of like this, right? And you know, cos 90 right there is 0, correct? So that's a nice way to immediately get to this solution, right? Let's write down what is cosecant 30 degrees. So here, cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2. What is secant 60? Secant 60 is reciprocal of cos, so it would be 2. And what is cot of 30 degrees? So you can look into this. Cot is reciprocal of tan. So it will be square root of 3. So now you substitute these values and get your answer. Perfect. Let's do it. So what we have here is tan of 60 square. That means square root of 3 whole square plus 4 times cos square 45. That means 1 over square root 2 whole square plus 3 times secant square 30 which is secant square 30 right so so it is 2 over square root 3 whole square right plus 5 times 0 divided by cosecant which is 20 plus 2 I mean 2 2 and minus square cot square 30 is square of square root 3 Correct. So once you substitute these values, you get your answer. So I hope you find it straightforward and useful. You need not write the values as I have written here. You could put them directly. This is just for some of my viewers to understand what am I substituting. Square root square will give me 3. Now this is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus Square root 3 square is 3, they will cancel. So we are going to get 4 here, and that is 0 over 
2 plus 2, 4, and that is 3, right? So let me write here uh, 2 plus 2 minus 3 for the time being. Okay, so let's write down 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 9 over uh, 4 minus 1, which is 1. So we get 9 as our result in this particular case. So I hope that helps. This is an excellent question. Since you need to figure out the values for primary trigonometric ratios and secondary trigonometric ratios using special triangles, right? So this is based on special triangles. At times, you may not be allowed a calculator to find solution of these questions. This is important to understand. Now, question number three. If x equals to a secant theta, y equals to b tan theta, then prove that x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1. So let's begin with what is x square over a square minus y square over b square equal to? Well, x is a secant theta. So we could write this as a secant theta whole square over a square minus b tan theta, right? So we write b tan theta whole square over b square, correct? Now that gives us a square secant square theta over a square minus b square tan square theta over b square. Now you can simplify this, cancelling the terms which are common in numerator and denominator. And that gives you what? This gives you secant square theta minus tan square theta. Is it equal to 1? That is the question for you. Well, let's look into the Pythagorean identity. What is it? So if you recall, Pythagorean for tan is 1 plus tan square theta equals to secant square theta. So you could rearrange and write 1 equals to secant square theta minus tan square theta. Correct? So from here, you can write that this is equal to 1, which is the right side. So that is how you can show that the left side, which is equal to x square over a square minus y square over b square should be equal to 1. Is that clear to you? Now, let's take up question number 4. Question number 4. If in a triangle ABC, sine A plus B minus C equals to half and cos B plus C minus A equals to 1 over square root 2, find the angles A, B and C. Well, in any triangle, what you basically know is a plus B plus C equals to 180 degrees, right? So that is for any triangle, right? So this is sum of angles in any triangle. Now this is very important information which is missing from the question and you should know it. That helps us to solve this question. So we get one equation from the properties of triangle, the other two from the conditions given to us. Perfect. Now what are the other two? We are saying that sine of A plus B minus C equals to half. It means what? Well, let's look into our special triangles once again. Now most of these questions are related with special triangles. So when you go for such a test, keep them in mind. So in a special triangle which is 30 60 90 you have 1 and 2 right so so that reminds you but if you have 45 degrees triangle you get 1 1 square root 2 so these two should help you to solve the given question so when I say sine of a plus b minus c is half it basically means what it means that a plus b minus c should be equal to what well, this is only true for sine of 30 degrees, right? So if you look from 30 degrees point of view, sine is half. So that is true for sine of 30 degrees. 
So that shows that A plus B minus C is 30 degrees. Do you get it? Now let's look into the second condition, which is cos of B plus C minus A equal to 1 over square root 2. So 1 over square root 2 is when cos is 45. So that means that B plus C minus A equals to 45 degrees. Does it make sense to you? Now these are the three equations which should help you to get the answer, right? So we have these three equations to work with. Perfect. Now, if I add the first two equations, what do I get? Well, I get A plus B, but if I subtract, then what? So let's subtract. So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, in that case, what do I get? So 1 minus 2, A minus A is 0, B minus B is 0. We get 2C equal to 180 degrees minus 30 which is 150 degrees. So C is equal to 150 degrees divided by 2, which is 75 degrees. So we get the value of C. Do you get it? Now, what we can do here is, let's call this as our equation number 4 now. Okay. So equation number 4 for us is that the angle C is equal to 75 degrees. Right. So let's substitute that into equation 2 and 3 and then we can find what A and B are. So let us substitute 75 in equation 2 and 3. So what we get here is A plus B minus 75 is equal to 30 degrees. That means A plus B is equal to 30 plus 75 or you can say A plus B is equal to 105. Correct? That is when I substitute C equals to 75 in 1 and 2 rather 2 and 3, 3 and 2. Okay, so let's do a similar substitution in the other equation, right? So the other equation for us is B plus C minus A. So we have B plus 75 minus A equals to 45. That means B minus A equals to 45. These are all in degrees minus 75 degrees. Correct? So we get B minus A as equal to. So when you take away, you get 30 degrees negative sign. Correct? So B minus A or you can say A minus B is equal to 30 degrees okay so we get our equation number let's say 5 and let's call this as 6 let's solve these equations to get the value of a and b so if i add equation 5 plus equation 6 then we get 2a equal to uh, B, B cancel, right? 135. 105 plus 30, which is 135. Correct? So angle A equals to 135 by 2, 6 times and 15, 67.5. So that is what we get for A. And what is B then? So B will be equal to, you can use from here, B is a minus 30 right so it is 67.5 minus 30 so that gives you 37.5 degrees correct so we get all our answers so our answer here is let me write down here angle a is equal to 67.5 degrees angle b is equal to 37 0.5 degrees and angle C is equal to 75 degrees. Perfect. So that is how we could actually solve this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take the last question, which is question number five. If sine theta over one minus cos theta plus cos theta over one plus cos theta is four, find theta. 
we're talking about acute angles, right? So we can take a common denominator here. So let's take a common denominator, which will be 1 minus cos theta times 1 plus cos theta, correct? You could cross multiply, so we get sine theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta times 1 minus cos theta is equal to 4. Perfect. Now, sine theta is common, so we get sine theta within brackets, we get 1 plus cos theta plus 1 minus cos theta, right? And in the denominator, a plus b times a minus b gives us 1 minus cos squared theta. That should be equal to 4. Now, the numerator should be sine theta times cos theta cancels, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get the number 2. And denominator is sine square theta. And that should be equal to 4. Now from here, we can simplify cancelling sine square theta, 1 sine theta from there, right? So that means we get, let me write down here. So we get 2 over sine theta, 2 over sine theta, as equal to 4, right? So, so sine theta cross multiplies. We get 2 over 4 as equal to sine theta. You could cancel 2 and 4 also, which is half, right? So sine theta is half for us. So what should be the angle theta? So we can get back to our special triangle once again, which we have used two times earlier, right? So which is 1, 2 square root 3. We want sine theta to be half, 1 over 2. That means we are looking into this angle, which is 30 degrees. Correct? You could always say sine inverse of half equal to theta, and that is 30 degrees from our special triangle. Correct? So using special triangles, we always get the exact value. So I think that helps. So our answer here is theta equals to 30 degrees. I hope these solutions help you to reveal the whole concept. Feel free to post your questions. And if something is not very clear, share with us. Thanks for watching and all the best.